I uh, was trying to find a movie for us to talk about. Yeah. And it just so happened that as I was looking through the movies that were coming out, we had done a review on the trailer for Brothers. So I said, ooh, let's do Brothers now. <laughs> do, you, do you think this movie was a good idea or not? Uh, if you have an hour and a half to kill on a night you have nothing to do, this is the movie for you. <laughs> oh, we're going, we're going straight into that. All right, let's, let's, let's well, backtrack. Let's backtrack a bit. Let's, okay. let's talk about what this movie is, right? So this movie is basically twin brothers who are played by Josh Brolin and Peter, Peter Dinklage. Dinklage. Now, um, obviously they're not, uh, what is it? Fraternal twins. They're, right. They're the other one. It was made in the spirit of the famous movie twins that Arnold Schwarzenegger and Dan DeVito were in. Yeah. And play pace tribute, which is a more beloved movie. Right. But so basically the, the gist of the story is this, these two brothers, they're always getting into trouble. They always have this, some sort of crazy cockamamie idea, like get rich quick schemes and stuff like that. Peter Dinklage gets arrested. He spends jail. He spends five years in jail. His brother Josh Brolin finds a woman, gets married, gets Has a her, kid on the you way. You know, they have a kid on the way. They get pregnant, and he's finally meeting the in-laws and everything like that. And lo and behold, Peter Dinklage gets out of jail. And then that's where the um, where the hilarity would have been. Except I feel like this movie. Falls super, super, super short on the comedy aspect. What do it, you think? It felt like I mean, it, it had a few laughs, like, but it was so quick. It's hard to even remember. It was like very forced. They tried the yeah. the shock humor when they go to Marissa Tomei's uh, character's house with the freaking orangutan like CGI. <laughs> I, I don't know. They, man. they try to play the outrageous humor or shock humor card that uh, do we even want to describe what the orangutan was doing to i'm going to be honest with you there's probably going to be five people who watch this video because i don't think people are going to actually watch brothers because this movie i'm so glad that this movie did not make it to the theaters it, well, it did go to the theaters, but it had like a small release. It was very rate. limited, but I bet you can't even find a number on it. I, I don't even want to look up the number. This no. movie had, I feel like the movie had somewhat semi-potential to being decent. I mean, yeah, you, you see the cast, but they were probably just all here to collect the paycheck. I mean, you, I mean, Josh Brolin, Peter Dinklage, Glenn Close, who plays their mother, uh, she had, she, she was okay. And Brendan... Fraser, who was playing like a comic version. I felt like he was playing a comic version of the character. He played the lawyer. Uh, what was that movie that came out last? The Martin Scorsese movie uh, that takes place in the 20s with all the Native Americans. Uh, See, that's how bad the movie is, where we can't even remember the name of this movie because it was so bad. It had a long ass title. Yeah, it, the name escapes me, but. Yeah. Basically, Brendan, Brendan Fraser's character. My point is to what I was saying. Brendan Fraser's character in that movie was just him shouting into the camera, yes. and, and he and he probably just walked onto this set, you know, threw on a prison guard uniform, you know. Basically, yeah. Like, so, so he basically plays a prison guard who his father is a major judge in the area, but and, they're corrupt and right. They're trying to get the jewels that the family stole years ago that. Glenn Close and her boyfriend at the time, but he swallowed it and it was in his dead body this whole time. <laughs> and now it's turned into a movie like, hey, let's go get our mom who we haven't seen because she bounced on us since we were 15 years old for 30 years. Let's meet up with her and dig up this dead body in a golf course and fish through a dead body and find... What was it like six gemstones? Yes. Oh man! Like the more the more we talk about this, the more it feels like this movie was written by like seven year olds. 
And hey, you know what would be cool? If we have a scene where Josh Brolin is wearing a glove and then takes off the glove because he can't reach it, so he has to take off the glove and put his actual hand into a dead body to get the gemstones. Uh, you know, speaking of a glove and gemstones, it makes me think of another Josh Brolin movie that he did with Peter Dinklage years ago. That was Which one? Uh... Avengers Infinity War, but they, oh. didn't, they didn't have seen any scenes together, but Peter Dinklage had a small part in Josh Brolin's playing maybe one of the greatest villains ever. Yeah, but like I this had nothing and to like, do with that. This movie is so is so not good that we're talking about other movies. And the Martin Scorsese Gazing <laughs> movie I'm thinking about is Kill of the Flower Moon. Right. Would that have that long ass name? Uh so it's like if you're in on a weekend and you just want to watch dumb humor just throw this on uh like we mentioned on the show before like like a movie that'd be straight in the straight to dvd or yes you, you walk you, you're it's walking a movie you're walking out of the supermarket and you see the dvd bin like oh let's see what's out or like oh i know these actors before you even seeing a trailer you'd be like oh that's an impressive cast or that's some cast and then you see like maybe these actors wanted to try something else like i mean you have you know they they have some very famous roles. I mean, you have one of the main actors from uh, Game of Thrones. You have Daniels himself. You know, you have Coella DeVille. You have Marissa Tomei from My Cousin. You know, the list goes on and on. This is just going to be one of the movies like, oh, yeah, the cast could probably carry it. And like, eh, why did I just watch this? <laughs> Yeah, like it tried to have the cast its, didn't like didn't it, hold on to it. Like it tried to have its home some moments, and I'm not so I'm not used to seeing Josh Brolin in a comedy road a road part. You know what's funny? Well, they he, I they know did, did mention Goonies in the movie. I forgot about Goonies. Yeah, yeah, but he did. They but Peter Dinklage at one point turns around to his future or his father in law rather, and he tells him he's like. Well, at least I didn't tell him the story about, you know, the goblin masks and the police. And, oh, God. So that was like a sort of a nod to Goonies. So, yeah. Like, it was like a blink and miss yeah, it. Like It's like, more like, like if you were chewing on something and you were eating while you were watching this movie, you missed that line. Yeah. I feel like they did not, like you said, they had no chemistry together. Mm, it felt forced. It felt super forced. Now, I will say this. Peter Dinklage... He lost some weight and gained some muscle because he looked kind of jacked in this role. But Josh Brolin, on the other hand, man, he just, it, it looks like he gained like so much weight for this movie. Like, what are you doing? It's either that or he let himself go after, after uh, Deadpool 2. I, but I, I guess one of the few laughs is when uh, Brendan Fraser's character breaks into Peter Dinklage's hotel, hotel room. Like, I guess there's something, they try to, there's just something funny about like, Tossing a little person, like yeah, that was pretty funny. <laughs> I will to- say that when he tossed him into the bathtub full yeah. of water and tried to drown him, I think. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was that was probably the only part of the movie where I was like, ha ha, that's that's hysterical. And then they tried to have him do stuff with an orangutan that just we can't even speak about. And then not only that, but then Brendan Fraser did the same exact thing. But we didn't get to see that. We just saw him running out of the house screaming, no, no, no. So, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You this... know, it's also a bad sign when, like, then, oh, yeah, there's George of the Jungle. You think he'd be swinging from the trees to get away. <laughs> you know? Yeah, right. And Marissa Tomei's, like, was in the, what, movie Five Minutes? She just had it. Not even. <laughs> Not even. Uh, yeah. So, uh, don't, I feel like, mm, this movie... If you want to feel better about yourself after a tough day, I just want dumb laughs. Then just throw this on. It's like, or if you have to kill an hour and a half, then yeah. All right, how about this? I got a good one. If you're sitting there and you just took, just had a load in the wash and you pulled it out and you need to fold your clothes, this too. (laughs) This movie would be great to just put it in the background and just. Maybe listen to it, and it might be a better movie. Because watching it, I wanted to poke my eyes out. There's supposedly other better movies with the name Brothers that came out. Oh, yeah. This, and uh, there was one that starts with a step and then ends with Brothers. Oh, that, there's that classic. Well, there was a great movie called Brothers, with a Mark Wahlberg movie. Yes, that, that came, movie, too. But yes. that's a drama, and that's really so good. good. And 
One article claims, I think, on MSN or Hollywood Reporter that this was a loose remake of a 1978 Clint Eastwood movie that was successful. Like, he was told not to make this movie. I know it's an outrageous fact, but, you know, that had a orangutan in that movie, so maybe that's why, I don't know. <laughs> like, this is before both of our time. <laughs> Wow. But but you can see it was trying hard to be twin, like the modern day version of twins. It was just all over the place. Yeah, just like this review. We're all over the place because that's what this movie does. It makes you go all over the place. So the question goes out to you guys. Have you seen it? And if you have, don't you agree with everything we just said? Other than that, let us know in the comment section down below what you guys think.